okay in this video we'll discuss about another interesting problem uh, which i posted a solution uh, for this one in splunk answers website i did not get any feedback after that but i thought i'll just create a video out of it mm, uh, so the problem statement is basically we want to run a script maybe it's a shell script or as i am in windows maybe i will be giving this example as mm, windows batch file only i just want to run from the dashboard okay so in this example uh, the actual question was from the button but we can have any kind of input so i'll just show you using the checkbox if i click on the checkbox it should run a batch batch script okay so the same thing can be done with a button as well so it's just a token setting purpose so for that the approach i have provided is suppose um let's say i have a window script something like this test.bat okay mm, so so it, it is just a simple script what what it is doing basically it is uh, printing to random number into this in into the in, into my desktop and it should create a file called text test.txt so whenever it, this script will be running it should create this test.txt file in my desktop okay so that the script is doing we'll try to run this script from our dashboard so for that what we have what i have thought of like uh, create a custom command okay so this will be the flow we'll be creating a custom command okay so this command is basically a python script right if you remember from my custom command how to create custom command you can check out my other videos i have posted before so this inside this python script okay we will run the batch windows batch windows batch okay and custom command okay so here in the inside the custom command will be running this batch file and this custom command we will call from the dashboard okay so we'll see how to implement that okay so the custom command implementation is really easy so for that as you know we need to do two things right we need to create a stanza in the commands.conf with the command name and the file it is running and with all these things okay now in this case these things doesn't matter but i think it is it is necessary so you can just give it there and then this is test.py right in the test.py if you see what i have given is there is a python module called sub process okay by which you can call any outside program okay outside of python okay so sub process has a method called call with that i have given just my batch file whole batch file path location here okay so let us first copy this test.py okay into our tmdb folder right so i'll go to my splunk tmdb app so test.py should be inside the bin folder correct and then in the tmdb app default folder i have a commands.conf file right so there i'll add this stanza so our custom command implementation is done okay so we need to restart splunk once so i'll just go ahead and restart splunk server control restart splunk we'll come back after splunk restart completes okay our splunk has been restarted so we'll go over there and we'll first check our custom command is actually working or not so the command name is test cmd right according to the commands.com is the test cmd so if i just run it the command may fail over here okay but it should create a file in my desktop if you see test.txt okay with some random number so this command is failing because of this get info probe because of this settings which is irrelevant in this scenario okay because we are not getting any data from the splunk 
or we are not providing as a, a field value to the Splunk as well. Okay, here we are just running a uh, we are just running a by uh, batch batch script from from the from python okay so that's fine in the in dashboard level we will not be able to see this error so now we will create our new dashboard okay so create a new dashboard we'll give the name as demo okay create the dashboard we'll go to ui so now in the ui first okay as this is uh, Splunk 7.2, I'll show you an interesting feature called Dark Theme. Okay, so if you turn it on, you save it, you refresh it, so your dashboard theme will be changing over there. Okay, so now let's create a checkbox first. Okay, so checkbox label, I'll say. I don't need any label okay now token I'll give I think I am uh, not going to do this one let's let's say it's a dummy checkbox only thing is that um, initial okay label let's give run okay there should not be any default value there should not be any initial value click on apply okay so this one static option you can give us run this is this looks better okay value is run this this will be using it instead of level if you see level is coming above right so I just remove the level and I just give a static option the name of the checkbox okay so it, it should be something like this now the idea is to if I just click on run it should run that particular script so I I'll, I'll just do I will remove the test.txt okay first so now we have to build the code so I'll go to source over here okay so now first we need to create a search dummy search right which will run this which will run that particular command so inside the search we need this query tag to run any command so now we'll run this same command test cmd our custom command now think about it when when this search command runs in a dashboard okay mm, whenever the dashboard initially loads or whenever something change happened to the input level right the filter level right because if the filter values are changing based on that that means any event occurring to the dashboard which requires the refreshing of the data because this is a base search over here correct so we have to run this base search whenever we are clicking on this checkbox correct so that's why I will make this search on change equals to true of this checkbox first okay we'll go to source again so we'll save it once otherwise the code will not be affected okay i don't know why the search on change is not affecting okay i have to click it apply over here we'll click on search on change equals to true so that means whenever the checkbox will be checked okay whatever the base search we have in our dashboard on also post process search it will be running so that's that's how the Splunk dashboard works right so now think about it I only want when I'll I'll click on the checkbox no other time that means when the dashboard initially loads it should not run but if you if I just keep the code like this when the dashboard will be will be loading it will it will run this code so if I just uh, refresh the dashboard it should create a test.txt file in my desktop because that code is automatically running so i should be preventing that okay so let's delete this so let's handle that so we'll go to edit source again so to make a search to wait for some event okay then this is how i do i will make a dummy token okay eval 
it's a dummy token so nothing equals to I'll just have a token form dot toggle I'll just name this toggle okay so think about it now until and unless this token is getting set this search will not run and by default what I will do this toggle token will not be anything so to check that what I will do I will go to UI level okay I will add a text box over here and the token name I will give toggle just to check whether how it's working okay I will click on apply click on save okay so now by default so demo the toggle is not set let's say whether I am able to prevent it or not okay I'm not able to prevent it because of this scenario let's check it out okay maybe Splunk is providing some some initial value over there so let us make the code foolproof okay so what we will do here is inside the checkbox we will handle this scenario so that so we'll say checkbox now you will handle the change event i'll show you now change inside the change event i'll be writing the code for that's that situation where whenever i'll be running will be clicking the checkbox that time only i will set this token otherwise i'll unset this token so that when the dashboard will be initially loading the token will be always unset okay so to do that you need to do inside the change event of this of this checkbox okay now we have to handle the condition over here because there are two condition here right one condition is when my checkbox is checked so that the condition value would be if you see here the checkbox choice value is run that means whenever the checkbox will be checked the value of the checkbox will be run so this is the condition for checkbox checked so i'll be copying this one okay then when this condition is satisfied i will say it token equals to form dot toggle okay to some value let's say something okay now other ways in any other case the so this is the condition that means i am i am not giving any condition over here that means any other case i'll just unset this token unset similar way token equals to form dot toggle okay then i'll just unset this token so let us see how it's behaving okay so i'll save it from the desktop i'll remove this file okay i will come over here i will remove all the tokens and then i'll refresh the dashboard okay so the dashboard this is the initial load of the dashboard let's see whether i'm able to prevent it or not see now the text test.txt file has not been created by default so now if i just click on over here okay if you see the form dot toggle has been set to something that means as this one has search when change equals to true so that's why what wh whatever the base searches we have in our dashboard should run now and that that means our command should run now it should create a file called test.txt in our desktop okay so this is how you can run a batch script from your dashboard okay maybe this is not the day-to-day -day wise scenario but this is something uh, maybe may come to your day-to-day -day activities so um, i i handled it something like this maybe you have the better solution let me know how how you can visualize it or how can you fix it in in, in your own way okay um, so a couple of things we have learned over here is how to handle checkbox conditions based on the conditions how to handle 
different different tokens in the checkbox right and most of the most interesting part is how to prevent a search to run um, automatically okay so the search has to wait for something then only it should run okay so the funda is to you need to pass a token over there so until and unless the token is set the query will always wait for the token okay hopefully this is intuitive enough mm -hmm. and uh, I, would, I i love to know how what what are the different solution you can have okay see you in next video